Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm MGX. And we are apparently here with Destiny 2. Fresh from release. Uh, I feel like we should talk about super duper current events, like from today. <laughs> so the people know we didn't get this thing like a week ago. I mean, I don't know who would think that we rate uh, an early copy of anything. But just, just yeah, so let people know uh, that we really are up... You know, do past our bedtime. Do the equivalent of hold a newspaper <clears throat> up to show today's date. Right. I'm trying to think of something like newsworthy. I'm like, oh, there's the fires, and I'm like, nah, that's been going on for like a month. I call right. Oh, tell me this is a there's problem. that gal that pulled the sword out of the lake in the UK. Did you hear about oh, that? Oh yeah, that should. That's do a it. today thing. Is the easiest thing I'll do. So that's pretty cool. Let's get yeah. Zavala. I'm curious what the light level on that sword is. Hmm. Uh, it looked like rec or replica, replica version, so we're probably looking light level 3, and then you upgrade it later. Ah, <laughs> there's probably a quest chain. Mm. Oh, it's like those rusty, uh, the rust shard weapons in Monster Hunter. Yep. Where they start yeah. out just absolute garbage, but by the end of it, they get to be pretty beefy. Yeah, and I noticed on the intro screen there, I've got a light level of 100, which is contrasting what I used to have. I don't know. Maybe I retired. To be fair, I killed, like, <clears throat> two gods, a Vex time machine, and oh, whatever the heck Sivo was. So. I know what happened. See, this is in the middle of one of the various uh, events. Oh, like I'm in the, my sparrow racing gear. You're in gear. your sparrow racing gear. I mean, do it. if you wanted to challenge uh, the big bed to a sparrow race, you'd be on point. Ooh. But, uh... Actually going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe, yeah, like shoot at the spaceship, Cade. You've got the range for that. I mean, Sheesh. Cade might. I don't know what kind of weapons he rocks. That was the, the Hunter's Golden Gun. Oh, was Its it? Its range isn't particularly good unless you spec for it. He <laughs> fired more than once, so he didn't. Hmm. Okay, so it was the equivalent of the bad guys throwing the guns at Superman when they don't do anything? Basically. Got it. Yeah. He minorly annoyed <laughs> whoever paints those ships. Still, well, it takes a lot of force to pop a pop a defender bubble, so Yeah. So we actually had a a bit of a, a debate while waiting in line to get the game as to whether we'd uh just go at it from the literal beginning like this, or whether we'd try and get a little further along before starting, since you know, there was a demo and presentations with these cutscenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we decided that not everyone shows up to those things, and, you know, maybe some of them show up to our particular corner of the internet. <laughs> It'd be a shame to start on Chapter 2, basically. Yeah. Although we did skip an <clears throat> intro cutscene that was apparently uh, not repeatable by closing out of the beginning of the game, so we're going to have to re-record that bit You know, on. I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot when when I boot up my copy. That's true. I always do like having the ghost wax nostalgically about the before times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quirky, so here I am. little AI that he is. Here I am coming back from that dance video we put up earlier. Uh, right. The reason Gaul decided to wreck our stuff. You know, it's a good reason as any. Although I, I really feel like he should have gone the Guardians of the Galaxy route and actually, like, challenged you to a dance off. Well, sure. I mean, that'd be the obvious way. Oh, man. Bungie, next game, there needs to be, like, a collaboration with, like, the makers of Just Dance. <laughs> there you I go. Just, I just want one mode where where the Guardian is breaking it down to some uh, remixed versions of some of the, like, orchestral soundtrack. Plus, go. I think it'd be a fun challenge for the Just Dance guys, because they'd have to do a, a waltz. Mm. Yeah. And they'd have to it's... EDM <laughs> up some very instrumental music. Right. I, like I said, I'd like it to go both ways. I'd like some EDM remix stuff, but I'd also like them to have to do classical dances with the uh, motion controls. Okay, so everything's on fire. I wish... This, I wish this, this wasn't my life. I start a lot of these adventures with everything on fire. I was going to say, this This looks like the start of a lot of missions. <laughs> I mean, this, I, I know it's a big deal. This is deal. Tuesday. 
I know it's a big deal because it's a new game. I mean, otherwise, it, if I had walked in on you playing this, I would have been like, oh, what a uh, what mission you on? You yeah. know, what a uh, what raid is this? <laughs> the only thing that makes this difference is it's nominally my house. That's true. Uh, okay, some changes from the demo. I don't. Uh, I don't have other guns. Oh, really? They started no. you with just a pistol? I just have the pistol. What the heck was I doing before this started? <laughs> I mean, the pistol's doing work. but uh, It's not a bad pistol, but still. I got a pistol, I got a uh, gun. Got my melee attack, but... Were you transferring yeah, everything to another character, maybe? Maybe. I might have been trying to level up somebody else. <laughs> uh, let's watch Cade be cool, even though I totally killed that guy in the corner. Stupid you, plot armor. You did. Good luck with that. I remember your stealth camo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see the one where the ship blew up, but I do remember the one where uh, as soon as you grabbed the MacGuffin, it stopped working. You had to fight your way out anyway. Who designs Who designs stealth armor that doesn't interact with hive souls? Seriously. Well, under normal circumstances, I'd be like, Oh, well, that's super specific, but that's literally what he was sending you to do. Yeah. That's what his mods were supposed to fix. Okay. Thanks, Shax. You're the only person I can rely on on this team. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got we got a couple of guns. Cool. All right, we got ourselves... No, wait, this, this, looks, this is familiar. They did send you to a room of cool guns. Yeah, but in the demo, they gave me a minigun. This time, they gave me an auto rifle and a kinetic sidearm. Oh, that's right. So, it had a ridiculous okay. name, too, didn't it? Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but... So, anyway, I got an auto rifle, I got... It's a new new weapon system they got. Uh, Sidearms and stuff that used to fire... Always fire uh, elemental weapons have kinetic variants, and they're your kinetic weapon. Guns that were kinetic occasionally have... Uh, elemental variants. Elemental variants. <clears throat> and then your heavy weapon slots for your shotguns and sniper rifles and rocket launchers, etc. Oh. So I could be running around doing Isaac's favorite thing of two pistols. Pistol one, pistol two. But why? I don't know. I mean... I, I don't know what's what's up with that guy in pistols. It, <laughs> it seems very... I just... Uh, who knows? Maybe this guy's I watched, as a hand I watched him doing the last Vex mission. It took him a million years, and most <laughs> of it was running around punching uh, minotaurs, yeah. uh, minotaurs and hobgoblins until they would drop him more ammo for his magnum. That's true. Because of its like hilarious clip size and the fact that it was just not doing enough damage to really matter to the like towering behemoths. Yeah, that guy always picks some more strange. Oh no, not the autonomous robots. Uh, they're my favorite. Yeah, just doing their jobs. Alright, I had to switch my energy weapon. That was one of my things that I liked about the... when we played through the demo of this. Hey! Was that there was one that was literally just mopping a room. Like, you took out all the bad guys in it and he's still mopping. I was like, he's gonna mop up a dead dude in like a minute when he gets to that part of the room. Uh, I gotta remap the button. My punch button isn't my punch button anymore. Oh, right. You have the default config. Uh, I mean... I've also got a burst pistol, which is kind of neat. That is kind of cool, yeah. I, I fully I... support auto pistols. I tended to, like, live in the medium range uh, mm. automatic weapon, you know, carbines and oh, the yeah. like. I mean, no, it's, it's what I know. <laughs> I've, I've, I've always been rubbish in every game that has sniper rifles, so I I typically don't even bother. Yeah. Uh, the scout rifle was as snipey as I really got, because, I mean, sometimes everything's just too far away to, you know, punch. Definitely true. Let's remap that real quick. That's going to get me. Menuing. Menuing. Where's button layout? Excitement. I need, I need, I need... <clears throat> Green thumb, is that it? Melee? I got it. No, no. Cold shoulder. There we go. There we go. I will say I'd like it if they did more with the... Uh, yeah, I don't see why it just can't the, change all the buttons. Well, that too. I feel like you should really be able to custom map everything. 
which the Xbox One is really good about. Oh yeah, uh, Cause, accessibility like, remap, options. Yeah, because you can remap the whole controller if you want. I uh, recently <clears throat> found out you can do that with the PS4 too, but it won't save button maps for specific games. Oh. So you have to change all the buttons if you play a different game that needs different buttons. Oh. Which is kind of annoying. That's a little tedious, but I guess I'm glad they have something. Oh yeah, no, something's <clears throat> better than nothing. I mean, heck. I remember the old accessibility controller for the Nintendo. And, you know, I thought that was pretty advanced. So, you know, the fact that your stock controller can be made to be more more friendly. I'm I'm all about that. So, but what I was going to say is I feel like the big uh the, the PlayStation pad I I feel like it should get used more. You know what I mean? Most games tend to use it as a, you know, an extra button at most. Mm, yeah. But it's supposed to have a lot more tactile nonsense than just that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only game I can think of that tried to use it was uh, Let It Die, which, ah, as uh, I mentioned, uh, was the game where I stopped using damage items because you would tend to eat them. I appreciate that, you know, it's a game where death is literally looming around every corner, but my own inventory shouldn't be trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. I basically only collected the uh, hazardous mushrooms if I needed them for a quest objective, because, oh gonna, my god, did I... I'm gonna jump on that battleship, and I'm gonna shoot everybody inside it. I mean, they gotta oh, know yeah. this is how they works out. This is, this is far from the first <laughs> spaceship I've ever boarded. Is it the first Cabal they should be boarded this way? Uh, this way? I mean, I boarded another one, but it crashed into a different ship, so... Ah. Uh, maybe there was no one to write that after-action report, and they really don't know. Oh, that could be, actually. It killed a lot of people. Yeah, and I mean, then you crashed a ship into another ship. Like, records... They, their black box may have been lost on that one. Yo, Benji, where are you at? I need your stock. <laughs> I left all of my guns somewhere else. <laughs> I will notice that all the vault pillars look like they've been knocked over conveniently. Yeah, no, that's great. I love that. Oh man, the store is closed. You can't buy a new dance emote. What will you do? Kill ah. Okay. Okay. All right. I was slightly outside of that bubble. I accept responsibility for that. I was gonna say he can only make the bubble so big. But uh. No. Heck that, with all you guys. That actually happened to me during the demo. I ran up there to get in the bubble and didn't realize the whole reason he was making it was because it was about to launch a volley at him. I'd have been safer literally anywhere else on the map. <laughs> but I, I ran in front of the bubble and then got just absolutely wrecked. No, you seem to be doing much better than I did on my run through this. <laughs> Yeah, still though. Next? That was first on my list. <clears throat> well, next on the list, because right now he's busy bubbling. Oh, I guess. Once nope, he's not going back for that shield, that's a trap. It's too late. You, you've already missed the window. You'd have to already be there. No. I will say it looks really cool standing behind his shield, though. Oh, and, yeah. And watching, explosions like... Explosions going off everywhere. You know, carrier ship fire on it. it. It does make him look as cool as he was always portrayed as. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's been a desk jockey for a while now. Apparently, he's... You should know that you should be fighting down here. I mean, those missiles are going to those gates. Well, I suppose he's defending the gates, defending the, defending the gates and whatever ragtag group of survivors he's got with him. Ragtag. Uh, well, I, I mean, guess I did lose my armor shaders. I was gonna say. Seriously, what am I wearing and why? I was gonna say it. It seems like you were doing like a polar bear run or something when he called you. <clears throat> I mean, I'm surprised you're not here in like a in a pair of khaki <laughs> shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah. But the By the way, that should have that should have been the. Uh, I've got the plaza. 
the bonus outfit is, oh. is just the most off-duty looking clothes ever. <laughs> like a like a Kirigumi or something. Oh yeah, there you go. A Cade Kirigumi, just to make it awkward. <laughs> uh, I'd have a. Hmm. You know, I wonder if the new Mono. Uh, wonder if anybody made a Shax Kirigumi. Oh, there we go. How, he's like it'd the have dude. Big plush horns. It'd be yeah, great. Yeah, would. No, I like that. Um, you know it'd be a reward for the uh, the Iron Banner, though. Oh, absolutely. It'd be a reward for the Iron Banner. Well, no, Shaq's... not not the Iron Banner. That'd be a wolf Karagumi. No, 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 no. He would specifically do it because Shax wouldn't want a Karagumi of him. Oh, you're probably right. Saladin's kind of a jerk that way. Okay, so we've run into a place where although if there did... should be a building there, so we're having a bad Oh, day. right. Yeah, that's the speaker's building, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That's where he's supposed to live. Uh-oh, they got flamethrowers. I hate flamethrowers. Although, if Saladin did a wolf carry Gumi, it'd probably be made of an actual wolf. An actual wolf would actually... He couldn't sleep in it. It wouldn't be comfy at all. It would. It wouldn't even be tanned. It would probably be freshly. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, it'll. <clears throat> it'll tan or rot, and if it's strong enough, it'll stick around. <laughs> oh uh, yikes! Okay. I wish I could have seen the glorious bit of the town over here before it exploded. Oh yeah, this is like a whole, whole, whole area, area we never got to see, and we only get to see it in its burned-out husk form. So, where do you think the speaker went? I don't know. He's probably captured or dead. <laughs> panic room? <laughs> Not the guy. Has, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who has a panic room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the fact Ouch. that his, the fact that this whole building is gone made me think that it was mobile. You know what I mean? Yeah. That it was actually a, yeah, I'm like a, a this. vehicle as much as it was a. Not only do I get the, the Havoc strike, I get to run around and punch people with electricity afterward. Oh, nice. It's a good day. That's where I was. I couldn't do that in my cool armor, because my cool armor was, I don't know, lifted off of Siva. Oh, oh. Infested all of, I was going to say, all of your stuff is infested with nanites. It's currently under quarantine. Yeah, that makes they're sense, finally locking. They're finally locking down all that Siva gear that everyone got. <laughs> and it's all been sitting in the same vault, so even the non siva weapons are, like, currently on their two-week lockdown. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. They finally they, should, they, they, they finally decided they wouldn't just let us hang around and... Hang around with just gobs of nanite stuck to you. You know I lost my entire order to stop the spread of siva. Yeah, no, look, look at this. This gun is powered entirely by siva and <laughs> releases siva nanites when I shoot people in the head. <sighs> they they got a hold of Banshee and he issued everyone a bunch of standard issue firearms while they got this sorted out. Well, I mean, that's fair. Guardians are wildly irresponsible once they became immortal. I mean, before the Siva thing came out, we all got infected with diseases on purpose because they were cool looking and provided bonus experience points. Yep. You got infected with the poke rests. Yes, we did. All of us. We had to... Once we figured out how it worked, people were setting up specific PvP matches to try to get all of them at once. Because <laughs> you could only... You could only... You could only... Get infected once, and whatever batch of nanites you got was all you got. So... So you had to get all of them at once, or you wouldn't get any of or you'd only get one? Or you'd only get the ones you ran into. Oh. Like, uh, my character on my main account there, he only got the one. Poor guy. <laughs> he was only infected with one nanite virus. I was a little disappointed they didn't do more with that. To show yeah. the, the, the true terror of it. Like... I got what they were going for in broad strokes, that it was a, that you called it a gray goose sort of scenario where nanites making more of themselves out of stuff means everything will eventually be nanites. Yeah. But 
if everything being of, being made of nanites just means that everything's cooler, but gets to keep its shape and its autonomy, then, then everything's gonna be made of nanites, and everybody's gonna think it's cool. Everything's gonna be made of nanites, and we won't even be able to tell the difference in a generation, because everyone will have always been made of nanites, and everyone will always be that cool. It scales. Yeah. It'll it'll literally just be the new baseline. Like they forgot to to make it a threat, like. Yeah replicators or something like that where you know you'll eventually lose yourself to nanites and i mean i do like the they came out at the same time <laughs> with a alternate reality game regarding uh the nanites effects on actual people oh? and that was pretty pretty bad for actual people who can die and stuff so what was the what did it do to people? Like, people, people. Uh, the same various things it do to Guardians, except then their limbs would explode because they couldn't handle it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, constant regeneration and functional immortality is a hell of a drug. But at the same time, it's literally gonna wreck, wreck the people. host. Yeah. Okay. I don't See, know, the difference they're... is, when all of mine's, <laughs> when all of my limbs over overload and explode, my ghost will just make me new ones. Yeah, okay. So I, I guess that's the I guess that's the rub is that when I was playing I, I didn't feel like they played up that aspect enough. Yeah. Because for the Guardians that's a big deal because you're literally supposed to be protecting humanity. So in theory you wouldn't want to willingly expose them to something that would blow up their limbs. Yeah. Well. Even if it made you really cool. Like, if it makes you really cool but humanity dies to it, uh you lose. Yeah. Hopefully more of the writing is going to be in this game rather than on the internet. Because the writing's actually really good when you get around to reading it. I was going to say, I know you sat and like read a fair bit of the grimoire in preparation for the new game coming out. Whereas, I found out that there's a grimoire. <laughs> it was literally, hey, what are you reading? Oh, the grimoire for the game. That's where all the lore is. Oh! Did you know the Vex are time machine or time traveling robots trying to create a favorable favorable outcome for every version of reality? And I did not. Like I knew that there was a time travel aspect because you're always fighting the same Vex, and there's there's a mission where they're gonna replace a broken version of the of the big Vex robot that you beat with a not broken version. They're literally just gonna copy paste the fixed one from a reality where it didn't get broken, and that's really cool. But I didn't know why or what the what the end game there was. But yeah, they're trying to fix all the timelines so that eventually they'll all win whichever one shows up. All timelines are going to be vex timelines if the vex have anything to say about it. And the scary part about that is, is that in <laughs> they theory, do. They have time travel. I was going to say the scary part about that is is that at least in theory a vex timeline has won somewhere. Because in theory, that's the timeline calling the shots and trying to fix all the rest of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. If even one of them succeeded, they now have a blueprint for what to do to make it work elsewhere. Uh, um, this long-range stuff against these guys is not working out well. I was going to say, I'm really surprised at the range of their flame guns. Yeah, it's really annoying. I, I thought that they'd be a much shorter range. And they have some sniper backup, too, because why the heck not? <laughs> because of course they do. And there you are with a pistol, trying to play Halo 1 over here. Yeah, alright, I'll get a real gun. <laughs> I've been convinced. <laughs> Was it me, or that Scion that convinced that you? Friggin' Scion, man. That's embarrassing. That's, that's fair. He had a more convincing argument than me. Yeah, that works out much better. Pro strats, when you get a real gun, don't use the pistol anymore. <laughs> the pistol's there Except to be now your I'm backup out of bullets. Gun. Yeah. I do oh, really like that it's an auto pistol. Get over here. <laughs> they got rocket packs to get away from me. They do. They've upgraded. I wonder if that... Of course, why am I even wondering? But I was going to say, I wonder if that's how it's going to be with all the enemies, is that they're going to have some new tricks. But, uh, duh, of course, it's a new game. Of course they're going to have new tricks. 
I'm not seeing I know dead th ghosts or any I know sort of collectible thing as any, any. Oh, that's true. Well, to be fair, I don't know if or when you'll be able to get back here. That's true. Just just from what I've seen, it looks like this place might be under construction for a bit, at the very least. So, I, I think they're probably not trying to fool you by hiding a bunch of goodies in the corners. But, I mean, that doesn't mean don't check the corners. Just that if I was them, I, I would be trying to get you to keep the action going, because while you're playing the game right now, it seems like it's definitely going for a cinematic feel. Mm. It seems like they're trying to make the game feel like it has a sense of urgency right now, even though we both know that the events won't trigger until you walk past certain points. But, yeah. but it is trying to keep you moving at a, a good clip in order to keep it feeling like it's really you know, moving in real time. I always liked fighting the Cabal. They're not terribly fast, and they have giant heads. <laughs> they do have a, a giant critical button. Oh, I They're my second this. favorite after the uh, Vex, who's... Uh, the juice box. Their weak spot is literally center mass. I hope they fix that, because that's way too easy. No, I love it. I love it because I like shooting center mass. That's fair. And I mean, honestly, if I was a robot race, that's where I'd put everything. In theory, it's better protected than everybody else. Yeah. I mean, it's a little easier to hit, but, uh... You can put some armor around it. Right. Like the Minotaurs, who functionally don't have a weak spot, as far as I can tell. I was gonna say... The Minotaurs and Hobgoblins both have a pretty good time of it. Because the Hobgoblins have the big shield. Right. And even if you get a little bit around them, you're just sit you're hitting limbs. Because mm -hmm. that center mass is right where the shield is going to give it the most, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Mm. I think I hit a cutscene trigger. What do you think? Yeah, oh, there we are. Yep. That's fair, my assault rifle only has six bullets, and I left my heavy weapon at home, so I'd probably lose a boss fight right now. I was gonna say, I think this is actually pretty accurate, given your six bullets. Oh, oh cool, we're doing that villain banter thing, and oh no, oh that hurts. <laughs> I really should have shot you, I thought we were doing the banter thing, jerk. Oh, that's not good. I was gonna say, grab your little friend and jump off the ship now. Like, <laughs> seriously. Roll off the ship. Leave your gun, it has six bullets. You can get a better one. It's really not a very good gun. Alright, you can have the gun. It's it's actually great. Take that and leave. <sighs> look at that Primark there. Man, you don't know me! Look at that, look at that 40k Primark there, doing his... Oh no, he's... Like, I could see this being a Space Marine in the next expansion. Oh, yeah. Some, I don't know, white console, maybe. White scars? Mm. They did it. It's not Mongolian enough, but I guess he's got the wings. Got the wings? This is definitely their attack style. That's true. He's blitz in with heavy artillery. Blitz in with heavy artillery and a fast attack squadron. He's the equivalent of the jet bike squadron that you're supposed to have, or the bike squadron you're supposed to have. That makes sense. Well, you know, out of all the things that have killed me, gravity's probably been the most consistent. Yeah, I mean, he has no reason to think you're going to get back up. Heck, you have no reason <laughs> to think you're going to get back up. Uh, well, that's, so next, the, that's the game. Thanks next, for watching. Next time on Endless Mode, we'll be playing a plucky survivor of the attack, because we don't take falling damage like we used to. Well, no. Uh, next next game we're gonna play a different game. It's over. Oh, we, we right. lost. That's credit sequence, sure. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for playing, everybody. Like and subscribe. Let us know what you think.